I was at uh, Aldi. Still here, actually. Just about to uh, head home to La Casa, and I walk in there, and I walk around. This guy shot me by slip on something, something wet, and my flip heart just messes up again. I mean, you know, uh, it got broken up. I gotta fix it up. I guess the the glue that I glued it with just wasn't good enough. But you know, I just I just sensed him. I was like, oh, I was like, damn, that sucks. He's like, oh, I don't care. You know, I, ca- I called him my mind, called him flat white. <laughs> So I'm thinking, why would I call him flat white? You know, just like I guess it's like you know, maybe years ago when I was painting, and it was like you know, flat white is a certain kind of paint. You know, you put it on a wall, and just like it, it's mundane, it's boring. You know, it's just like I think it's just like you know, it's just a, it's just, a, it's just an average lame kind of paint. Like I don't know, I guess you maybe even put it on a ceiling, something like that. You know. Uh, you know, I wanted gloss for my room, and I had uh, a gloss kind of paint, just shines, this and that. Uh, there's pastel colors, there's there's all sorts of colors. Nothing but color white, you know. But you know, he was just like so mundane and boring, and just you know, the way he was dressed, I could, I could just tell, you know, it's just like a lack of personality, you know. That's what it really is, you know. Uh, there was a woman, uh, you know, and she was. Uh, she was getting her groceries, she got her groceries, this guy at the, at the at the register, you know, he rang her up really fast, and, you know, and I put my onions there, and, you know, I, I, don't, know, I don't know if he touched or something, but I was like, oh, I'm, I was getting her pay, she's like, oh, you're gonna pay for it, too? It's like, that. Like, oh, you know, if they, you know, they didn't mess with my car or block my car, I would have paid for it, something like that, you know, she had a chuckle or anything, you know, I don't know if he would, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, he would, uh, uh, you know, uh, acted that way. You know, it's like, you know, it's about personality. It's like, you know, I mean, unless, unless you're in a ooh, bad, angry mood and something like that. But it just, you know, it's like, how angry are you all the time, right? When someone just, you know, uh, just says something random, random to you. What do you mean about me slipping? I mean, I could have fallen, you know? It was about my flip flop. I could have had a fall. I mean, I actually slipped and I just recovered. You know, I didn't, I didn't uh, you know, uh, bust my ass there. I didn't, uh, it hit the deck on my back, but I, I could have, you know, it would have been good. I probably could have hurt myself, you know. You just, you know, you just like, all right, whatever. You know, it's it, it just like, you know, uh, I'd say you should reach out. And, hey, you all right? Oh, you know, not like that. But at least, you know, have some kind of compassion, uh, you know, in you, right? You know, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> I say weird things. I mean, and those people see me and say did this and that. I look like this, and I'm my personality. That I don't care, you know. That I really do. I told the guy at the register, there's like a piece of fruit or vegetable, maybe we should get someone to clean up, someone gonna get hurt, you know, uh, I mean, those children are about, and I imagine they said, but I mean, you know, and, and yeah, children are a little bit more resilient, you know, they're, they're a little more more healthier, and they're younger, let's say an, an older person than me comes in there, right, and just, you know, slips, and, you know, uh, falls, and I got, I just stare, that breaks her hip, or his hip, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, would you, would you want to put someone through that? They call an ambulance. They got to go to the hospital, operation. Or they got, to, you know, they go, they got to uh, go to physical therapy. I mean, it's like, you know, for that particular person, like, like how inconsiderate, how evil are you? For like, you know, not even to even, even to think about, you know, like, yeah, whatever. You know, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, I just, you know, uh, flat white over there, just, you know, shopping for like, you know. Uh, grapefruits or something like that, <laughs> you know, living on the edge there, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it, it's just like, you know, what if it happens, it, it, it's an ambulance, and, like, you know, and then the store gets sued, and they probably wouldn't close, they probably got money or something like that, but it's like, you know, why, why have someone go through all that, uh, headache and heartache, and, you know, and I felt a little bit shocked, it's like, ooh, you know, it's like when you go on a, on a, on a roller coaster, you're like, oh, I mean, you pay for that. I mean, I don't want to pay for that, you know. But hey, my flip flop, you know, I kind of messed up, so I gotta glue it. I got, I have some uh, something bought I bought from this uh, uh, I almost said clothing store. Uh, you know, uh, oh jeez, what's the word? Uh, it's like tailors or something like that, you know. Uh, you know, they uh. They're pretty much upholstery, yeah, that's what it is, an upholstery store, or warehouse, and I got something, maybe it'll work, it does work on cloth, you know, because uh, super glue after uh, extreme, uh, you know, uh, 
extreme pressure and I move my foot like that, the, the foot, the uh, one of the, the the fabrics that holds, uh, you know, holds it together just fell apart. So I gotta fix it up again. But it's not even about that. You know, it's just like you know, like how dense and like how dim you are inside. Like you just, you know, you just like, and there's nothing about you. Like you don't, you know, I'm not saying you know, uh, love me this and that. It's not about love. It's just about you know, common sense and respect. You know. And if it's like that with me, you know, it'd probably be like that for somebody else. And somebody gets hurt. And you probably just sit, look, stare and look at, wow, I got, what happened? <laughs> you know, like, uh, you know, it's, is that what you have, flat white? And it's certain thing about having a personality, you know, but <clears throat> whatever kind of personality you have, whether uh, you're shy or withdrawn, or, you know, you're, uh, you're going through something, so, you know, you keep to yourself, you know, this and that, but, you know, not to have any <clears throat> kind of compassion and just, you know, uh, respect for, uh, you know, somebody else's uh, well-being, if you don't know them, you know, it's it just creepy and disgusting, you know, I, I experienced that multiple times in my life, and that was just the physical element of it. I mean, I didn't even get upset at that. Like, I, you know, him, I kind of, you know, uh, I get that all the time. I see how the world is, you know. But, uh, you know, and, and people can cause emotional distress to people on multiple levels, you know. And then, and then the person just, you know, gets uh, either traumatized or gets hurt mentally, emotionally. And, you know, <clears throat> I mean, you know, when will it stop? You know, when, when will, you, will you quit, you know? And, you know, I mean, I, you know, I, the guy didn't actually say it. He didn't actually say it, he would verbalize it, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, I knew what he was thinking. You know, it's like, uh, I don't even want to know what I'm thinking, but it's like, you know, maybe it's it's a gift, you know. I'm not a gift, but maybe I should know what I'm thinking, you know. Like one minute, two minutes talking about it, I would have I figured him out what kind of person he is, you know. How he reacts to certain things, or, you know, this and that. Probably, you know, you know I wouldn't want to, like, you know, know him on a personal level either, you know. Hey, just a one time, uh, you know, one time experience or, uh, you know, uh, at a supermarket with him, an introduction to, you know, his, uh, you know, uh, just negative attitude towards uh, people's well-being, including mine, you know, you know it's like, uh, I mean, you know, unless, you know, I, I, I you know, I don't know, I would, uh, you know, I robbed you, and I, you know, I'm a horrible person, you see, and you're like, oh, I don't care, man, I mean, you know, whatever, I'm not, I don't even want to see that, you know, I don't even see violence, but, you know, it's just so random of him, like, you know, yeah, whatever, I don't care, you know, it's, wow, I mean, you know, if you look at the world, what's going on, there was a car accident, a couple of car accidents, I think, you know, uh, I don't know when I uh, checked my YouTube. It was early in the morning or last night, you know. And it's like, you know, these four teens died. 19, 18, 17, or like 19, 17, 16, and 14, something like that. Jesus, dude, you didn't even make it to 20. I didn't want to go there. It's just so sad, man. Like, I remember when I was 19. Right? Like, I, even now when somebody dies, you know, it kind of, you know, it, it hits you you think about it. But speaking of which, there's an ambulance. All that noise, right? And they, they have all these lights going in the front. I don't know if they're turning right or going straight, except that it's slowed down. So I mean, see, I didn't want to get in front of it and make that, uh, you know, left. Just like, you know, all those lights, blinking lights, you can, you can have something on top that's not as uh, a vibrant and as uh, psychologically uh, uh, demeaning, right? But, you know, you, you can at least have a, a, a turn signal so someone knows which way you're turning. Mom's car is okay. Oh, by the way, it's a Kia, and I heard that like, it's like, I remember when, you know, in the 90s, I would say, like, Hondas are, like, the, uh, you know, the biggest uh, item uh, for people to, 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 to steal. Hondas, I don't know, Civics and Accords. Now, all of a sudden, there's, like, a Kia thing where they're, you know, uh, uh, stealing uh, Kias and stuff. And I think those four uh, uh, teenagers died because of an accident of a Kia, in a Kia, a stolen Kia, you know? Which reminds me, I'm driving my mom's Kia, but that one was Sportage. 
I didn't look at it too much sporter. You know, it, it, Kia is okay. It's an SUV. Uh, you know, gets me out and about. It doesn't have the kind of power, or the, the, the kick when I uh, shift in gears that I want. But you know, it, it does drive and it, it's all right. It gets me around. Just like they were talking about how, well, it's almost, on the news the person said, and I. Uh, you know, I think someone from law enforcement said that, you know, the way how it's uh, uh, manufactured, I guess, like, all they need is just, like, one little key to bypass, you know, the ignition. And I think, I don't think they have pushed to start. You know, they have, the, like, the, the same, uh, well, <laughs> right, uh, they have the uh, the actual, the, the regular key, which is, you know, it should be all right. I just, you know, they were talking about something with a USB. I guess it's a USB portal, and, you know, they just press the USB in there or something. And they just start the engine up. So, I mean, this Kia does have a computer, it's just not push to start. You know? uh, I guess push to start is safer. I was just thinking years ago that what if just someone just has an, uh, like a hacker an application and you know, they figure out uh, you know, your serial number or what, what, what model it is and they could just uh, manipulate push to start, you know? I mean, uh, you know, uh, years ago, and actually the thing is, it's much easier to. Uh, to steal right now, or years ago, I remember like they they still open it with a with a pulley and uh you gotta you gotta take out the bottom and you gotta you know put the wires together. I see it on TV. I never see anybody do that. And you start up the car like that, you know. I mean, you know, you just you just learn basic mechanics, especially what kind of make a bottle and brand. You, just, you know, hey, they're all the same on this, you know, different year they switch something up, but they pretty much got the same wires, you know. So it just takes a little bit longer, I guess, to actually steal the car. You have all the alarms, this and that, just, you know, and, you know, this car is an alarm, but, uh, you know, what, that car didn't have an alarm, I think they all have an alarm, you know, it's like, you have this best alarm, but, you know, bypass the alarm, you get it anyway, you know, ooh, it's a funeral, but she had a nice ass, <laughs> she had a nice body there, <laughs> never hit on a, never hit on a girl in a funeral, you know, she already lost one guy, <laughs> wait a week till you, you know, she really, she uh, forgets about him. That's fucked up. <laughs> even for me. But, you know, I wouldn't even say that. <laughs> you know, you go in there. She's crying. She feels vulnerable. Next thing you know, she gets attached. <laughs> you have her for that night. <laughs> Wedding crashers. Yeah. <laughs> the funeral version at the end. Those guys got really desperate. <laughs> I thought he was just having fun. He was just so evil about it. <laughs> it's like hilarious as fuck. You know? Oh, it's a hotel. The White Hotel. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is it? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> She's driving around, smoking. I needed a ride. I really needed a ride just to get out of the house, but you know, especially if it was automatic, it'd be okay. But you know, uh, the semi-auto and the triple-tronic, you know, it, it's just so much. She was staring at him, not at me. <laughs> I guess I need to cover up my face and get a book bag or a bag. No, but uh, <laughs> uh yeah, it just. Eventually, you know, I really want to want a manual, a full manual car, you know. Uh, or maybe even um, a dual. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think I already talked about it. Uh, automatic, and semi-automatic, and, you know, a straight-up manual. Three type of functions. I just don't know what kind of transmission would you need, you know. Uh, I mean, the triple triangle is right here, so it's automatic. You know, you could just, like, bypass it. Except not on start every time, but you just you, you have an option and just you know you have to, obviously you have the clutch you know and it just and it activates or something like that you know and that would be really cool you know it, it's it, it's something I would enjoy because sometimes you know, I just I'm incoherent I'm just you know too stressed too suppressed sedated and some other level and I just you know uh, yeah I could still uh, uh, you know pop in the gears but you know just riding right an automatic and just you know just not so now, but just relax a little, you know, and then, you know, whatever time I, I come out of it, or I feel a little better, pop it in, or just manual, and just, you know, enjoy it a little bit better, you know, it'll be so cool, and, you know, 
the dashboard that just see, shows me the gears electronically, you know. Uh, but that's for the uh, the semi auto or whatever. Or the, actually, that's the Chipotronic. Semi auto actually had the gearbox, just you know, there was no clutch or something like that. So, yeah, I just food for thought. All right, Lawrence, here I come. <laughs>